let's talk about how to trim your live videos. Hello everyone, welcome to this YouTube channel. My name is Nick Paul Kusky, and here on the channel we talk all about live video and videography and how you can use that in order to grow your business. And on this episode, we're gonna be diving in and talking about how to trim your live videos. So why might you wanna trim your live videos? Well, one of the big reasons, first of all, is that I always recommend uh, my clients do some sort of uh, pre-show countdown. So something like this, where you have you know a countdown timer up here in the corner or wherever, uh, and then this can be either a still graphic or it can be a dynamic like we're doing right now. But really what this allows you to do is having that pre-show countdown allows you to make sure everything's working, to share the stream out with different places, uh, to make sure it just gives you that time to go live and get things up and running before the show actually starts. Plus it helps more people start to join the stream before you actually begin delivering content. However, the big issue is that you don't necessarily want to keep this in the replay. Maybe you wanna have a really tight video, uh, so especially if you're just doing a still graphic, which a lot of people do, um, where it's just still graphic, maybe some music, and the countdown timer going. Well, in that case, you likely wanna to get to the content right away. So in this video, we're gonna talk all about how to go ahead and trim your live streams, and it can be at the beginning, at the end, or anywhere in between. So let's jump in and talk about that. So the first thing I need to do is we're delivering our little live video right now. I'm gonna drop the, the pre-show countdown. So this is our example live video. I am live at the moment. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to end this stream and we'll jump in and talk about how this all works. So I'm going ahead ending the stream. So I'm here on our page and we're gonna scroll down and find that live video that was just completed right there it is uh, and i'm going to just enlarge it and then i'm going to click on the little dots here and i'm going to tap on edit video all right and there we are in the edit video area we're in the publishing tools area of facebook right now so you can also just jump to the publishing tools section but then we found our live video here and that's this one and we're going to tap the little edit video part right here takes us to this page and you'll notice if we scroll down just a little bit, right here is video clipping. So if we go, that's not what we want. Um, this is, I have another video on video clipping. Uh, if you check that out here, in the, I'll leave a link to that in the description. That's basically giving you 60 seconds or small little clips from your live stream. We wanna go all the way down because we wanna keep most of the stream intact. We just wanna chop off the beginning or the end. Uh, we're going to tap video trimming that's going to allow me to then we're in on this page and you can see use the scrubber or edit the timestamps to begin trimming your video so i'm going to grab the little scrubber here and i'm going to bring it on in and let's see just preview see if it shows that we're going to bring it on even further and we want to get to we're going to trim 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 Lots of setup, lots of preamble. There we go. Now we see this piece right here, right when we, I'm gonna trim, normally we'd be getting rid of that, but I'm gonna trim so we keep that. So you can see, I can also adjust things if I wanna be even more fine with where I'm cutting things, I can adjust it with those right there. But then all you have to do is hit save. And there you can see that our clip was now trimmed down from two minutes and 57 seconds, I believe, to one minute and 25 seconds. And if we go back, let's go back to the page. And we scroll down, there is the video, and you see, you notice it starts right away, right where we trimmed it to. At with the countdown timer there. So there you have it. That is how you go ahead and trim your live videos. Again, you can do it either at the beginning or the end, doesn't matter. 
But if you want to learn more about Facebook Live, I have a full playlist that is all about how to get started with Facebook Live streaming. I want to encourage you to go check that out. Uh, and also be sure to subscribe to the channel if you're finding it useful and finding it helpful. We're diving into all things live streaming and a bunch of stuff on videography in order to help you grow your business. And I'll see you in the next one.